Hey guys, Matt Beck, freesaloneducation.com, and I'm excited to make this video because this video is all about my favorite tools and what I'm using on a daily basis in the salon. So let's check it out. We're gonna start off with combs, and I'm gonna try to make this video short and sweet, so I'm not gonna go into too much. Combs, my favorite, 339 YS Park and the YS Park 332. The only difference in these combs is the width, the width of the teeth, uh, so I like the 332 for more dry cutting, texture cutting, things like that and then, or combing through wet hair, just to get it started. And then the 339 comb, I love for all my precision cutting, scissor over comb, those type of things. Uh, there are other combs that I use, but these are the two that, if I had to leave the house with anything, it would be these two combs, because they work really well. Um, now let's get into scissors. You guys know I love scissors. I love Mizutani scissors, so um, favorite Mizutani scissors uh, to date, and I've been using a lot. I've pretty much used every Mizutani scissor out there. So the DB20, this is one of my favorites. Uh, the thing I love about this scissor is the ball bearing uh, screw. And the reason I love that exposed ball bearing screw and no hair does not get in that. But what I love about it is that how smooth it is to open and close. Uh, it's easy to maintain because you can see everything. Um, and it's also got nano powder metal steel, which is a softer metal, helps grip the hair, really great for precision cutting and pretty much any type of cutting that you can think of. So I use this one at a 5.7. Uh, the reason I like a 5.7 inch scissor is because the longer your scissor gets, the weaker it gets to the tip most of the time. So um, if I'm looking to uh, do precision cutting, you want the strength of the blade throughout the whole blade. So you wanna make sure that, that's, uh, that your scissor is not super long for precision cutting. Uh, the other scissor that I love, and we're gonna talk about a longer scissor, is the Blacksmith Fit. Now, I have this one at a six and a half inch. And the reason I like it at a six and a half inch is because uh, when I'm working scissor over comb, this is what I do a lot of barbering with, a lot of men's cutting. Um, I like the longer scissor because that allows me to cut more hair at once um, and it just keeps you more consistent when you're scissor over combing. If you guys haven't checked out the video we just did on scissor over comb, then uh, you can check it out on our channel, but I explain and break down why I like a longer scissor for that. So this is for scissor over comb, love that. Now my texture scissor is the type Z uh, dual texture scissor. So each side is both texture. Thing I like about this is a lot of times when you're cutting hair, um, using a texture scissor, there's a, a full blade and a texture blade. And what happens is when you slide that scissor down the hair shaft, the, the full blade grabs onto the hair while the texture blade kind of releases the hair. So if you're looking to not get that pull as you're sliding through the hair with the texture scissor, then you would want to use uh, a dual texture scissor like this one uh, because it's gonna, as soon as it cuts the hair, then there's nothing, no friction on it so it slides right through the hair really nice. So this is uh, another tool that I definitely would not wanna go a day in the salon without. For a razor, I like the Plier Feather Razor. Uh, it's a straight blade. I like using this. Um, it's just a preference of mine. I think you can get a pretty similar cut with uh, a guarded feather razor, but I really like this one for detail work. I also shave the necks on my guys with this as well. So, um, so there's a lot of different things that I use this for and I love uh, the Plier Feather Razor as well. Um, when we get into brushes, now brushes I'm pretty particular about um, and I don't understand why every company, uh, I use other companies and it just drives me crazy. Uh, so the first brush that I love uh, is the 413 brush from Paul Mitchell. I've used it for over 10 years, I love it. Um, and nobody makes a brush like this. I don't know why. Um, I would think every company would want to have a brush like this, but the thing I love about it is the bristles have little balls on the end, so it slides across the scalp really easy. It doesn't have too much tension, so if I'm looking for, I'm working with more of a fine textured hair or uh, somebody that, that uh, doesn't have real curly hair, then I can go through and use the 413 brush, blow them out, it, it allows a lot of air between the brush and the scalp. So you still get some volume with this brush. It's not flattening it straight down. Um, so I love that. The other set of brushes, and this is from uh, our friends at Ergo, 
Now I had never used an Ergo brush until we started Free Salon Education. They sent us these brushes and I love everything about these brushes. I hope you guys can see them on the camera, but really for the most part, um, I'm not doing a review on these brushes, I just love them. Ergo, round brushes, I don't, we don't not use them in the salon now. Uh, we use them on every guest, all the stylists here. So uh, definitely check out the Ergo brushes. It says askergo.com, so go on there. You can get all the information. I also love their paddle brush. Um, I was using the Paul Mitchell paddle brush for a long time. I like this one better. Um, I think that the bristles are uh, a little softer and it, it glides through the hair a lot better. Uh, and I love the tension of this brush. So Ergo paddle brush and their set of round brushes, definitely uh, good to go on those. So the wet brush is one of my favorite brushes. I do not comb wet hair out without it. Um, I don't know how we got through life without it before. Uh, it's funny because this, this brush, I, I never, I always saw them at hair shows and I always just never thought to buy one. And then we happened to be in the beauty supply store and I picked one up and I haven't been able to put it down. It's a fantastic brush for getting through wet hair, uh, especially if you're, when you wanna do precision cutting, you gotta have a really clean start to your haircuts. So this is a brush that allows you to really brush through the hair, glide through the hair uh, without having to worry about the tangles and all of that. So it saves a lot of time in your day, but also gets the hair perfectly smoothed out um, to get it ready for the haircut. So definitely recommend this brush. We also sell them in the salon uh, and they sell out right away. So uh, if you wanna bring them in for that as well, it's, it's a good brush to have. Uh, last couple things. I love the Vibra Straight Iron from Bricado. Just started working with this company and this is one of my favorite tools. I have loved uh, the ceramic iron for a long time. This one actually has a vibrating function. So as you're gliding down the hair, it vibrates. And I used, to, when I heard about it, I was like, well, that doesn't really, I don't understand why it would do that. But um, when we do our super silk treatments, the hair can get a little bit uh, rough feeling when it has the uh, silk protein sprayed on there, uh, the first round that you're going through. And the vibration just allows the friction of the hair to not be as much, so it glides right over. So I really love the Bricado Vibra Straight Iron. I use it for whether I'm doing the treatment or not, I use it for all the smoothing of the hair. It comes in a few different sizes. We have these on Shop FSE, so you can definitely check them out on there. Uh, last couple things is my Andis Master Clipper. Um, I love this clipper a lot, and I use it for every men's cut. And I also would not, the reason I love it so much is these clipper guards um, are fantastic. They're magnetic, and they just, snap right on and they hold really tight. So they're not just a plastic clip on, uh, it snaps on with the magnet and holds it right on there. So uh, you can pick up these clipper guards, uh, I believe at Sally's or I got them off of eBay. And then the Andis Master Clippers are awesome. So check them out. You can get them at a hair show, probably on their website. I would go on their website and see where to get them. But check your local beauty supply store for that. Uh, but definitely an awesome workhorse clipper. Last but not least, got to have a spray bottle. Love the Mizutani uh, rubber spray bottle. So it's fine mist, works really well. It doesn't spray your clients right in the face. Fantastic spray bottle. So I hope you guys like those uh, products. Those are my favorites. I'd love to see what yours are. Leave yours in the comments below because if I haven't used it, I would love to try it. Maybe we can do a review on it. So check it out, freesaloneducation.com. We have a lot more videos to come. And if you have a product that you want us to review or check out, uh, email me, matt at freesaloneducation.com. But we'll see you guys on the next video. Thanks.